how we doing? How we doing out there? How are we feeling? How how's it going? How are you? Are you all right? Are you okay? Are you surviving? Let's get the energy up. How are we feeling today? Eh, we're, eh, eh. It's, it's not serious. Can you see the sweat? I am sweating. I can't have the window open because it's loud out there. I need a shave. I'm getting gross. But that's okay. Yes. Pixels. Here we go. We're drawing with pixels. Um, if you are like one of those pixel art purists who doesn't believe that you, you're allowed to use lots of colours or a graphics tablet to like draw pixel art, then please just update yourself. Like, let's be real, here's my hot pixel art. I've seen hot takes going around. Here's my pixel art hot take. If you can see the pixels and if it was drawn, if it was illustrate, if it was ma manually put in, then it's pixel art. If it looks like pixels, how, what are you going to call it other than pixel art? Am I right? Anyway, all you pixel art purists out there, just please just calm down with your character categorization and you're minimizing people's talents because basically at the end of the day my real real deep down hot take is all the pixel art purists out there sort of kind of just feel a little bit attacked by artists who are now doing pixel art and are quite good at pixel art because they can just draw and this is why I kind of avoid doing tutorials because my main tutorial advice is just like get good at drawing and then try doing pixel art. The origins of pixel art are we didn't have the technology to make crazy good pictures so we dealt with just doing the min like what computers allowed us to do. Now it's not like that. Now we can just get a graphics tablet and draw with some pixels. So go ahead, do it, pick up a pen. What other hot takes have we got? I wanted, no, I wanted to keep this lighthearted. I feel like I've been doing too much. I have a, a very, very clear habit of just rambling and pontificating and philosophizing and sounding all serious and saying the important words Matter of fact is, I'm not actually like that, really, on the day. I feel like my genuine... I'm normally just grumbling at stuff. No, I'm not. What am I normally like? Thinking about what to eat and what to draw and what to listen to. When's my next food? What drawing am I working on? And what am I going to listen to while doing that drawing? Priorities one, two, and three. And you... What am I gonna draw for you? It's not serious though. Yet another Alan Watts quote there. Is it serious? Like people pontificating about the meaning of life and then also maybe one of your questions should be, is it serious? Like obviously there's serious stuff. Yes, there's war and death and illness and sad stuff. But when you look at the yin yang of life, it's it, it can't be denied that how would we know that there are good things without bad things, you know? It's, that's not an excuse for bad things. There are people out there who are just dickheads, and we've got a lot of gross, horrible stuff going on in the world. But I guess that's just examples of the human condition of just our psychology, ego getting, getting lost. I'm getting all wishy-washy, hippy-dippy, deep, and serious when I'm all I meant was is this ain't serious I've just done some drawing posting it on the internet will my channel evolve from something will, will it change ever are people gonna get bored this is what I also think about overthinking stuff because naturally I do overthink stuff and I feel like people do this to themselves as well but people overlook positive things once it's happened for a while you know? So, for example, I think that maybe the very idea of someone just posting art videos and not really anything else, just each video, it's just about whatever the art is, that's cool. It doesn't matter what else is going on. But I overthink it and I'm like, oh, God, people are going to get bored. I should do animations. I should do other stuff. Gaming. What? I don't know. Things, Q and A's. I love. Clearly, I love the sound of my own voice. Q and A. C could do, but. 
There's 4,000 of you. That's also another fact. Subscribers keep appearing. I don't know where you're coming from. How did you find me? You were scrounging through the digital wasteland, looking through the cyber shrubs and foliage, and you found me between the pixels just saying nonsense. Who cares if I don't have new topics? The new topic is this piece of art. And look, I did this cool mountain village. I thought it was really successful. I just, so for the past few videos, these past three videos, I just had three separate pixel art ideas in my head. And I feel like each one is successful in their own way. Three very distinct visuals in my head and then just successfully translating them and getting them out. And now we're done. By the end of it, the colors are sort of, I don't know, I wasn't super pleased with them because I wasn't really sure what vibe I was going for. But for some reason, it gave me vibes of like, um, it was like a cross between like very like Nordic colors and like, like things like Holland and, and Norway mixed with like kind of Japanese roofs and, and architecture and stuff. I didn't really envision the colors. I saw a picture somewhere. It wasn't like this, but it was the vague idea of just like mountains and then mist, like mountain tops poking out of the mist. And then there's buildings or like a, a castle or like something on the top. I had an idea of like just doing like a giant statue at the, in the middle on the top of the mountain or something. Um, I ended up doing like sort of giant like stone obelisk things. I, I mess around. I try like think about the idea of like maybe they were lanterns. But I, I, I didn't like how it looked because I definitely wanted to keep the lighting that I had done. I don't know whether I filmed at the end, but I also added right at the end um, some like really tall mountains in the background amongst the clouds. So it's as if like... Maybe these are not the highest mountains. But anyway, I think it's okay. Look, you're, what are we going to talk about? What what have I got to say to you? What what do you want to say to me? Po post in the comments. More subscribers keep coming. And I get what? And I'm like, am I? Is this good? Are they subscribing because of this? Or are they subscribing because of animations? And now I'm just muddying your, your feed. I'm muddying your YouTube feed. You're, you're, you're thinking... Shit, not this again. I've been playing um, Okami HD uh, on PS4. That's a good game. I played it before. I played it on the Wii ages ago. It's got a really cool art style. For some reason, I've been watching Jackass. I don't know why. Um, I don't know why. KE had never seen them. I hadn't seen all of them. And I don't know why we watched them, but we did. And then on the flip side, started reading uh, Ethics by Spinoza. It's a heavy read. It's quite wordy. He's one of the first philosophers who, like, has a very pantheistic perspective and, like, writes about it. Um, so I thought he's, like, an important figure, basically, in, like, pantheism. And I think he's cool, and I, I've sort of, I've researched him and his ideas before, and I, and I like it. Um, so I thought I should try and read it, but it is pretty tough. I'm also reading uh, The Tower in the Sea by B. Muir. Um, he's really cool, and was in my old uni a few years above me. Yeah, I've been, I've been researching into uh, Printful and, like, making a website. I've put, kind of put it on hold, though. But hopefully, like, prints might be a good thing. No, yes, maybe. I've, do, I've started doing some spoilers ahead for new videos. Uh, I've started doing a little bit of Summer Wars fan art. Possibly pixel art. Um, but you didn't hear it from me. And possibly animated because I felt like I needed to do a little bit of animation because I might do a little a very short little tutorial because I've already done a tutorial about how I make my animations but I still get a few questions of like how to get it to a video form so I just need to do a little quick tutorial of like how to finish up so like how to go from a really small little animated clip to a video on you on YouTube, you know, I'm too. I've been too serious lately, and I'm just. I sort of. I don't know. I've got like ideas for animations. I'm still writing my graphic novel. 
things are strange, things are weird, who knows what's going on. I really appreciate you being here even when I'm not making tutorials. I've said it before and many of you already have an idea of me, I think. Um, but just like, I've got, I've just got a weird mentality when it comes to tutorials. I feel like there's room on the internet for people just to make art and not really explain the whole process. It's not about gatekeeping. It's not about not keeping all my techniques a secret. It's not about like not help wanting to help anyone. But I just feel like it takes a lot to be impressed by someone telling me how to do something. When I think about myself trying to give arty advice, no matter what it is, like there's fundamentals, like how do I use this? How do you hold a pencil? I don't know. That's one aspect and I feel like I just don't have the um, enthusiasm to do that form of tutorial. But then the only other way of learning is just like the weird vague stuff that is just like, you just have to improve, try this, maybe. There's the type of tutorials and people out there who are like, you should do it this way and you should use this tool and you should do it this way because that's how I do it. And it's like, no, you don't have to. Well, who's to say that they're right? I want to help people get better. I want to motivate you and I want you to motivate me. We're going to get better. It's just really tough. It's tough to get, for, to start from zero to like a place where you're happy with. It takes ages, it takes ages and you've just sort of got to enjoy the process. I did art in secondary school, but it wasn't until maybe I was 16 that I was like, oh, maybe I do actually really want to do art. So therefore, then when I was 17, 18 in, in, in what we call college in the UK, I did painting and graphics, but even then I wasn't very good. I was, I was getting better at drawing, but like my paintings were crap. Um, I wasn't great. And then when I was 19, I did an art foundation course, which is something you do before uni. And I got a bit better then. Then I had, there was a tutor who really helped me improve my drawing for the first time. It's the same shit I've said all the time, which is just to focus on stuff. Look at things more than you're looking at your drawing. Do like some quick gestural, just look at stuff for ages and like maybe even keep your eye on the thing while you draw and stuff like that. And I did get a little bit better, but I still wasn't amazing. You know, I still feel like I've improved a lot over uni. Um, you know, I, I started out in a weird cartoony place. I've got, I got better by the end. Like the last year was when all my nomad stuff started happening. And how do I then quantify that into a few tutorials. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> oil light. um yeah. wow, I wanted to keep this light and breezy, but I d couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't hold on to it, but there we are. I, d I don't know what to say anymore. I feel like I just don't know what to say. I don't know what I should comment. Just support people, support creatives. You know, it's tough. Look out for one another, hold on to what's important. Um, and definitely what's not important is some random long hair hippie drawing random pixel art shit online and, and, and just brain dumping into the ether. Well, I hope you enjoyed this random little bit of like Poncho Pilgrim pixel art world building where I sort of design and create images for nothing and no reason at all loosely based on my own personal comic graphic novel project set in a world of, of, of spirits and nomads, poncho pilgrims and, and wizards and witches. Keep going. That's all I can say. Keep going. Because I'm telling that to myself. I've got to keep trying. Go easy on yourself is all I'm saying. Go easy on yourself and therefore go easy on others. Am I right? Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't be down on yourself for not improving quick enough. And don't take out your rage on other people. But I definitely, definitely often type out tweets and delete them a lot. Type out messages because I feel like I'm on this knife edge between being a weird, annoying reply guy and being like a super positive, happy hippie person who just wants to say like, I love your stuff. You know, keep going, keep drawing, do your best, right? 
make the thing. What are we doing here? What are you doing here? What would it be like to live on this little mountain town, eh? What I wouldn't give, what I wouldn't give to live on this little misty mountain village.